Hi guys! Ang topic natin ngayon is about phase diagram for pure substances. Well, this is a part of our thermodynamics course kung saan pinag-uusapan natin yung properties of pure substances. So, without further ado, pag-usapan na natin ngayon yung phase diagram for pure substances. So, first, unahin na natin tong tinatawag nating pressure temperature diagram or yung PT diagram. So, what is this PT diagram? It is the most common way to show the phases of a substance. Well, here is the pressure temperature diagram of water. So, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-basic na lagi ninyo makikita kapag pinag-aaralan natin yung phase diagrams. So, as you can see, kaya siya tinawag na pressure temperature diagram because it shows the condition of our substance in a given temperature and pressure. So, some things na dapat nating i-note in PT diagram is that it summarizes the effect of temperature and pressure in a substance in a closed container. And we also have to take note that every point in this diagram represents a possible combination of temperature and pressure for the system. So, for example, meron tayong point dito. So, it has a corresponding temperature dito sa ating x-axis and a corresponding pressure dito naman sa ating y-axis. Now, if we analyze this PT diagram, makikita natin dito yung iba't ibang phases ng water on different pressure and temperature conditions. No? So, in this part of our diagram, the water is in solid phase, yung tinatawag nating ice. While on this part ng ating diagram, our water is in liquid phase. Ayan nga yung liquid water na very familiar sa atin. And dito naman sa color brown na region, our water is in gaseous phase. So, we call it water vapor. Okay, so, iisa-isahin natin tong part ng ating PT diagram. Simulan na natin dito sa part ng curve na to. No? So, we have this curve from A to B. So, anong tawag natin dyan? This is what we call the sublimation curve. So, what is the sublimation curve? The sublimation curve, which is from point A to point B, is the curve that separates the solid and vapor phases. Okay, so as you can see, this is our sublimation curve, and above it is our solid phase. At dito naman sa right side is our vapor phase. So, one thing that we can realize that by changing the pressure and temperature, it can affect the pace of our substance. So, in this case, for water, for example, we have a pressure somewhere here in 0 0.5. So, if, if we have temperature around here, we will have a solid pace. But increasing our temperature, we later on, we will have a gaseous pace in here. No? So, therefore, in using this PT diagram, it will help us identify in a given pressure and temperature kung ano yung pace ng ating substance. Okay, now let us talk about the other curves na nakikita natin dito. No? Now, we have here the fusion curve. And this is from point B to point D. No? So, itong line na nakikita natin. The fusion curve is the curve that separates the solid and liquid phase. So, ito yung ating fusion curve. Sa left side niya, we have our solid phase. And dito naman sa right side niya, we have our liquid phase. So, sinaseparate niya ang ating solid and liquid phase. So, katulad ng observation natin sa ating sublimation curve, by knowing the pressure and temperature condition of our substance, we can determine if it is in solid phase or in liquid phase. Okay, so... Gamit itong ating diagram, makikita na kagad natin no? if we have a given temperature and pressure kung solid or liquid ang ating substance. Now, another one is our vaporization curve from point B to point C. Okay? So, the vaporization curve is the curve that separates the liquid and vapor phases. So, ito namang curve na to makikita natin, sineseparate niya yung liquid and vapor phase. Sa left side niya, we have our liquid phase. And sa right side niya, we have the gaseous phase. Okay, so pareho lang yung observation natin. Ano? 
By a given temperature and pressure, we can determine if the substance is liquid or gaseous. Now, in here we have what we called the triple point, no? kung saan nag-meet lahat ng ating curve, our sublimation curve, our vaporization curve, and our fusion curve. Okay, so the triple point is the only point where the three curves meet. The temperature and pressure of a substance in which three phases coexist in thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay, so in this triple point, Okay, so we have a given temperature and pressure no, for our triple point. Dito sa triple point, our three phases, which is solid, liquid, and vapor, are coexisting. Okay, so that is why it is really important na alam natin itong ating triple point. Because this is the only point that these three phases are present or coexisting. Okay, and here we have what we call the critical point. The critical point is the point where vaporization line ends. It is the condition of temperature and pressure at which a liquid and its vapor is indistinguishable. Okay, so yan ang ating critical point. Now, we have what we call the PVT surface diagram. Okay, the PV diagram, PT diagram, and TV diagram can be combined into a single three-dimensional surface as shown below. So, meron tayo ditong figure kung saan may kita ninyo. In our y-axis, we have the pressure. In our x-axis, we have the volume. And in our z-axis, we have the temperature. Okay, so by combining all this diagram, we can have this three-dimensional surface diagram. Okay, so may kita natin in bawat part ng ating surface diagram here, you will find kung ano ang phase ng ating substance. So, one thing to note about this is that solid phase region are also represented on this diagram. Now, the regions where only one phase exists are labeled as solid, liquid, and vapor. Ito, tulad nito, meron tayo ditong solid phase, we have our gaseous phase, and we have our liquid phase right here, no? And the regions where two phases exist are labeled as solid liquid, solid vapor, and liquid vapor phases. Katulad nito, no? We have liquid and vapor phase. We have solid and vapor phase right here. And in here, itong part na to, we have the solid and liquid phase. Along the triple state or a triple line, ito yung ating triple state, no? Or we can call this as the triple line. It is a line of constant temperature and pressure where all three phases coexist. Okay, so ito yung ating triple point no, na pinag-usapan kanina. Since this is a three-dimensional diagram, so we have here our um, triple state or triple line. Okay, another thing na dapat nating mapag-aralan is yung tinatawag nating temperature entropy diagram or DTS diagram. So, it is a diagram used to visualize the heat transfer during a process and visualize the changes to temperature and specific entropy during energy transfer. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag nating TS diagram. So, as you can see, we have the temperature which is T in our Y axis and we have our own entropy which is S in our X axis. So, in TS diagram, the area under the TS curve of a process is the heat transferred to the system during that process. So, yung, ito yung ating TS curve, no? So, the area under our TS curve, ito yon, is the heat transferred to the system during the process, no? So, now let us talk about itong mga parts na nakikita natin, itong ating curve. So, first we have here what we call the saturated liquid line. So, ano ba itong saturated liquid line? Which is this line up to here before the critical point. The saturated liquid line is the locus of state at which the addition of energy at constant pressure results in the formation of vapor. Okay, katulad ng nakikita natin dito, no? So, we have this curve, our saturated liquid line. So, from here, if you add entropy, it will result for the formation of vapor, katulad ng nakikita natin dito. No? Because if you move 
towards the right. Ito yung ating entropy. So, from this state, you will start having wet vapor. Okay? And also, we have what we call the saturated vapor line. So, ano tong saturated vapor line? It is the locus of state that consists of 100% vapor at the saturation pressure and temperature. Okay, so ito yon from the critical point hanggang dito sa end ng ating curve. Now, the saturated vapor line joins the saturated liquid line at the critical point. So, itong ating saturated liquid line at itong ating saturated vapor line, they will meet here sa tinatawag nating critical point. So, ano tong tinatawag nating critical point? The critical point is a state in which liquid and vapor properties are indistinguishable. At the critical point, the latent heat of vaporization is equal to zero. Okay, so nabanggit na rin natin yung kanina sa ating PT diagram sa simula ng ating lecture. No? Now, let us discuss some of the terms and definition dito sa ating mga pinakitang diagram. Well, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo ngayon yung definition. If you want more about these topics, you can watch our previous lecture about steam tables. No? Kasi nagkaroon din tayo doon ng definitions and terms ng mga ginamit natin sa uh, ating steam tables. So doon nagkaroon tayo ng explanation, how are we getting these terms na nakikita natin dito? Ano yan and how can we determine those? Okay, so ngayon, isa-isahin natin itong mga terms na ginamit natin sa ating mga diagram. First, we have gas. No? Gas is a vapor having temperature greater than the critical temperature. The triple point, nung napag-usapan natin kanina, is the only point where the three curves meet. Tinatawag na sublimation curve, fusion curve, and vaporization curve. Kung saan sila nagmi-meet, yun ang tinatawag nating triple point. And in triple point, nagko-coexist lahat ng ating phases, solid, liquid, and gas. Now, we have what we call the critical point. It is the point where vaporization line ends. And it is the condition of temperature and pressure at which a liquid and its vapor is indistinguishable. And then, we have the critical pressure. Okay? It is the pressure at the critical point. So, kung titignan natin yung graph natin kanina sa ating PT diagram, Yung ating critical point, of course, meron siyang corresponding pressure and temperature. So, yung pressure natin doon sa ating critical point, yun ang tinatawag natin critical pressure. Then, we have the compressed liquid. Itong nakikita natin dito sa ating diagram. No? Ito yung ating compressed liquid. Compressed liquid is a substance whose pressure is higher than the saturation pressure at a given temperature of that substance. So, alam naman natin, if we have a given saturation temperature, meron siyang corresponding saturation pressure. No? Now, if the pressure of our substance is higher than the given uh, saturation pressure, then that means our substance is a compressed liquid. Well, as again, as I said, you can watch our previous video para mas maintindihan natin yung tungkol sa compressed liquids. Now we have what we call the subcooled liquid, no? Ito naman 'yon, 'yung nakikita natin dito. So, subcooled liquids are liquids whose temperature is lower than the saturation temperature for the given pressure or if the temperature of the liquid is lower than the saturation temperature for the saturation pressure. So, meron naman tayo dito ang given na saturation pressure, no? And alam natin, at a given saturation pressure, we have an equivalent saturation temperature. Now, if the temperature of our substance is lower than our saturation temperature, then that means our substance is a subcooled liquid. Okay, so I hope may naiintindihan ninyo yung mga definitions na ginibigay namin. Now, we have the saturation temperature. The saturation temperature is the temperature at which the vaporization takes place at a given pressure. So, ito na yung binabanggit natin kanina, no? the saturation temperature and saturation pressure. Now, the saturation pressure, on the other hand, is the pressure at which vaporization takes place at a given temperature. Now, what do we mean by saturate liquid? Itong nakikita natin dito. Saturate liquid is liquid water at its boiling temperature and at standard temperature. 
or it is a liquid whose temperature and pressure are such that any decrease in pressure without change in temperature causes it to boil. Okay, more of it will be discussed once you watch our video for steam tables. And also we have saturated vapor. Now, if a substance exists as a vapor at saturation temperature or vapor at standard atmospheric pressure and it's boiling temperature. So, yun ang tinatawag nating saturated vapor. The superheated vapor, itong nakikita natin dito, a term, is a vapor whose temperature is higher than the saturation temperature at a given pressure. A superheated vapor absorbs more heat than is needed to vaporize. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, no? we have a saturation temperature at a given saturation pressure. So, kapag ang ating temperature is lower than the saturation temperature, that means we have subcooled liquid. Diba? But, if we have higher temperature than our saturation temperature, we have what we call superheated vapor. Ito yon. So, kung titignan natin no, sa ating diagram, we have this line, which is a constant temperature line. Okay? Now, if we have temperature higher than our saturation temperature, we have a superheated vapor. But if we have temperature lower than the saturation temperature, we have subcooled liquid. Now, we'll discuss about the dry saturation vapor. It is the vapor completed its evaporation process or vapor having quality of 100%. So, we could get this by getting the dryness fraction. It is a measure of the quality of wet steam. So, meron tayong separate video about dryness fraction. So, you can just watch that again sa ating mga lectures. Now, we have wet vapor. It is the vapor that is a mixture of saturated liquid and dry vapor in the diagram. Okay, so ito yon itong area na to. We have the wet vapor area here. So, Evaporation is the process of vapor generation only at the surface of the liquid. So, you can just imagine if we have a liquid na naka-expose sa labas ng ating bahay, no? Directly to the sun. So, we know that the water will evaporate. But this evaporation is happening on the surface of our substance, no? On the other hand, we have what we call boiling. So, we also know about boiling, no? It is the phenomenon of vapor formation in the whole mass of liquid when heat is applied. So, meron naman tayo ditong boiling and the whole part of our uh, substance is involved for the formation of vapor. No? So, yan ang pinagkaiba ng evaporation to boiling. Now, steam is the term that we use for water on gaseous space. And then, we have what we call the degrees of superheat, which is the difference between actual temperature and saturation temperature of a substance in the diagram. Degrees of subcooling, on the other hand, is the difference between saturation temperature and the actual temperature of a substance in the diagram. Now, vaporization is the process that involves change of phase from liquid to vapor. And sublimation is the transformation of solid phase directly to vapor phase. So, mas na-encounter natin to kanina nung pinag-usapan natin yung PT diagram natin, yung pressure temperature diagram ng water. So, makikita ninyo doon kung saan papasok itong vaporization and sublimation. Okay, in fact, we have there what we call the vaporization curve and the sublimation curve. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, in order to understand more about sa mga terms na ginamit natin, please watch itong iba pa naming mga videos uh, about steam table para mas maintindihan natin yung mga ginamit nating terms kanina. No? Katulad ng superheated vapor, subcooled liquid, at yung iba pang mga nabanggit natin. Mm -hmm.